We're in Ithaca today. It's called Ithaca Falls. Um, you don't often get a lot of time when you're on the road. Most of the time we don't actually get to see places. We're kind of rolling in, playing a gig, staying in a hotel and then heading out. So you don't get a lot of time to look around. But when you get the occasional morning, you just got to go and be a tourist for a bit. Um, so we're here in Ithaca, which is where we stayed last night. And um, we're hitting up one of the main spots in Ithaca, which is Ithaca Falls. like 45 minutes to get to the next place so we're heading on to Horseheads. Okay we're here in Horseheads New York at a church called Love Church. So we're doing a set tonight and then tomorrow we drive to Boston which is going to be about six hours and then we play that night so that's going to be quite a tiring day. So I'm feeling pretty thankful right now. To be able to travel and do music and do this as ministry is just so good. We get to come here and play our songs and people respond to the music enough to actually want us to come and play in different places around the world and and people actually come out to worship with us and uh, the fact that our songs are able to reach people all over the world in places we've never been before just kind of blows me away every time. It's so awesome. I love it. Um, I just feel so so thankful that we actually get to do this and that this is our ministry. I think it's pretty awesome but as cool as it is it is also very tiring and uh, I guess people might think when you're in a touring band that it's basically just like being on holiday all the time and getting to travel around and you do get to travel to a lot of places but um, it is also quite tiring I mean <laughs> even when we do like a worship night in our hometown in Manchester just the process of loading in playing a set giving it everything you've got and then loading out uh, it's a tiring thing and usually the next day I need some downtime just to kind of recover from doing one set and then you do that 12 times over two weeks and uh, it becomes pretty tiring. So you have to kind of find little ways to keep yourself sane, whether it's just catching a bit of downtime like this, whether it's, we try and build certain routines and rhythms into the way that we tour. Uh, we don't try and travel too long of a distance between tour dates, so you'll notice that for most of this tour we just did the Northeast. We're just staying in kind of Pennsylvania, New York, Boston, that kind of area. Um, because we don't want to be driving like six or seven hours a day and then playing live. We also try and make sure that we don't tour for too long at a time. So we read a book by Martin Smith from Delirious recently, uh, sharing the story about Delirious. And um, those guys would never miss more than two Sundays in a row from their church. And we love that. And that's something we try and build into Rivers and Robots as well. We don't want to be one of these bands that's touring for months and away from friends and family. And, you know, so we try and do the same thing. We try and make sure that we're not away too long. Uh, we want to be rooted in our local churches. We want to maintain healthy friendships and relationships and family and all that stuff. I guess the Bible puts a big emphasis on um, being part of a family. It says in Psalms 68, I think it's 68, it says um, that God sets the lonely in families and it also says in Genesis about how it's not good for man to be alone. God has a big emphasis on this um, idea of family and I, I really think that if you're involved in ministry or you're involved in anything, I think it's got to be within that context of a family. It's good to be in a place where um, you're not a rock star or a um, super missionary crazy person that everyone loves. It's, it's good to just be um, that guy who goes to church and just have people that like can speak into your life and actually challenge you on certain areas and that kind of thing. Um, I just think it's really important to have those things in place. If your breath smells, um, your nose is right next to your mouth, but um, you won't be able to smell whether your own breath smells. You need somebody else to tell you that, and uh, you need someone who can be honest and tell you when your breath smells. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like that. Like um, There might be areas in your life where you may be not doing too great, and like um, it takes someone who's honest and someone who cares about you to actually point those things out. And you maybe don't notice them yourself sometimes. So we place some real value on that with um, what we do in Rivers and Robots. set at uh, Love Church in Horseheads and now we're going to record 
a ukulele cover. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Hallelujah, Boston, <laughs> in a place called Cambridge, Massachusetts. Which appeared on the TV episode Fringe. Did it? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Facts of the day with, with all these guys and uh, we're going to be doing a show tonight. It's going to be good. Nate is holding the door like a champ. Like a gentleman. Good morning, internet. <laughs> We're in Boston. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, definitely. We're in Boston. Last night we played at the Middle East. Uh, technically in Cambridge, not actually Boston, but you know. Cross the river. Same kind of thing. Um, we were in a club venue, which is kind of similar to the gather things that we do in Manchester. So it felt quite at home. It was good. Um, fine print guys were awesome. Caleb put us up for the night, so thank you, Caleb. And uh, now we're going to check out Boston for the morning and then head over to NYC. 